and also Adamas will be the first to move forward for Gibbo. Our favourite Fitu, number five at 3.40. Spud O'Reilly at 6. Lanero at 6.10. Murray Pintow at 6.70. Big on fame at 7.40. Now Spud O'Reilly is about to move forward for Bucko. So they're getting set at the 1300 start. Big on fame getting set for RT. Kaseki Dane moving in. So Fitu for Godolphin about to move forward in company with St. Lonte. And uh, Mari Pintown, double pluggers to move forward. Spring Wish, Lanero and Decompression. So let's see, we've got five to move in. Spring Wish about to move forward. Mari Pintown to get set in company with Decompression, Lanero and double pluggers. Fitzu the favourite, a two to one on the tote, three dollars. Now decompression and Lanero moving in together. So only awaiting double pluggers, Spring Wish and Mari Pintow to move in. So three to move in, Mardo. Fitzu's been a little bit easy on track. 310 from 280. Lanero 390 out to five. Spud O'Reilly at six has been money for Mari Pintow and Big on Fame and also a little spec for St. Lonte. Now, Mari Pintow just given a little towel down as the last to move in for Mitchell Bell. Oh, decompression's on the toe. Favourite Fitu, light is on. Stand by. Racing now, and also Adamas and Cavill both began well, and Fitu's back about second last in the early stages. As a matter of fact, it goes right back to last of all. So also Adamas, and there's Spring Wish going forward, and also going up there on the outside there is Lanero. So Lanero upside's tackling Spring Wish for the lead here. Kaseki Dane is third, followed by next over on the outside, St. Lonte, and then Cavill on the outside of also Adamas, followed by Decompression. Double pluggers on the outside. Spud O'Reilly's about fourth last. Last. Mari Pintow creeping forward on the outside and then big on fame and Fitu was last of all must be the best part of a dozen lengths off this tearaway leader. Lanier up the 550s well clear leads the way by five lengths here to St. Lonte on the outside and uh, then Spring Wish over on the inside there Kaseki Dane in the centre followed by Cavill on the outside of also Adamas and Fitu was still last. Lanier up the 375 led by three lengths here from Kaseki Dane St. Lonte Spring Wish is still there. Also Adamas makes ground and then Spud O'Reilly followed by next there is Fitu. She's still got four or five lengths to make up. She's making some headway. Lanero's still the one to gun down at the 125. Fitu's making late ground but Lanero's still well clear and Lanero goes all the way. Lanero wins it from Fitu. Third is either Spud O'Reilly or also Adamas followed by Spring Wish, big on fame and then we had St. Lonte, Kaseki Dane, Mari Pintow. These back markers never got warm. Decompression followed by Cavill and about the last one home double pluggers. Lanero, number four the winner for Lester Grace and Gerald Ryan has run them into the ground. A son of Lonro from a Dan Zero mare and Dan Zotto just burst away with a big lead coming down the side and he's kept going to win from Fitu who's made a stack of ground. She just gave them too big a start. She's got up on the fence to run second and Spud O'Reilly, number one, has run third just ahead of also Adamas. But all the honours to Lanero. Four, five, one and six. The placing's confirmed by the judge after race eight. Four, five, one and six. 118.07 is the time. And 34.68 is the last 600 metres. Four, five, one and six. Number 15, Spring Wish, has run fifth. That's um, her best run in a little while. And number 13 ran sixth, Kaseki Dane. So four, five, one and six, 15, fifth and 13, sixth. A length and a half by a half neck were the margins. A length and a half by a half neck. 118.07, 34.68, and six after race eight. Dashing display by Lanero, who's by Lonro from 
Dan Zotto, who's a daughter of Dan Zero. Trained by Gerald Ryan and Lester Grace was the winning rider. That's his second win at start 10. And he leads all the way to take out race number eight. Raced by the Blue Blood Thoroughbreds team. Managed by Ms. C. Walsh.